This is Dr. Edwards, and I hope you're having a great day. This is week five, y'all. And so this week, we are focused on social media trends and SEO. And SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, which is super important, and I will tell you why. So anytime you go to Google or to another site, you actually um, type in keywords, and based on the keywords that you type, you'll see certain results um, pop up to the top of the page, and then certain results will go to page 155. So um, with search engine optimization, there are certain words that you can place in your post, um, whether that is a blog post or even a um, post on Twitter or on Facebook that enables the post to be seen by more people. So that is considered search engine optimization. Whenever you're searching for something on, we'll just say Pinterest or on Facebook, and you're searching for maybe a local restaurant with these keywords in there, you can find it. Or if you're searching on Google for a certain gem, then if you search for these keywords like Stephenville gem, um, what comes up first? So if the people who write the Stephenville gem website, or say if there is a Stephenville gem or a website, excuse me, or a gem in Stephenville, and they write a post on the website that uses the words Stephenville gem repetitively, and they incorporate that into almost every post or paragraph, then that means that they will potentially have more search engine optimization than others. However, there is a twist to the story. So social media is, and Google, they are pay to play, um, opportunities for folks. So that basically means the more that you pay, the more likely your post is to be seen. So you can pay on Google for your results to pop up to the top of the list. You can pay on Facebook for your results to pop up in an ad or at the top of the list. You can pay on on YouTube for your ad or for your post or your website to pop up on the top of the list. So that is the caveat to search engine optimization. Um, I will have to say that most search engine optimization or SEO is completely free, which I am about that life, the completely free social media life. However, sometimes um, you do have to pay to have more people see your post. And so if you have any questions about just that, just let me know. So that is the background into this week assignment. So like I said, this is week five and this week we are focused on search engine optimization. So the first thing I want you to do is to watch these two videos to get a background of SEO. So the first video is a learn SEO tutorial, how Google finds, analyzes, and ranks the content that they find. And then the second video is how HubSpot uses blogging to rank number one on Google. So the neat thing is blogging can also act as what is called a sales funnel. So you can use a blog, um, well, you can use a blog and the blog can lead to a website. So maybe um, that can lead to website subscriptions or that can lead to different things to make people engage with a website. So HubSpot uses blogging a lot because you can use search engine optimization on blogs a lot. So I've been a blogger for the last 15 years and it's been great to um, get on those top blogs, especially in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Okay, also, um, let's look at the action items. So the action item for number one, which is the videos, I want you to think. I want you to think outside of the box. And using the information in the videos listed above, make two SEO or search engine optimization related suggestions for the Tarleton State Communication Studies Facebook page. So I want you to go to the Facebook page and I want you to make some two suggestions. Each suggestion should be between two to three sentences, or you can go a little bit more by writing on this document. So basically, you have a prompt at the very bottom. You need to copy and paste this prompt on your response. And I will show you that prompt in a few moments. The second piece is read one or two of the following three articles about social media strategies. So maybe I'm a person who works from the bottom up. So maybe I read social media trends 2020 and also search engine optimization SEO starter guide. So those are the two out of the three that I would read. So then we go into the action items. 
And they say, now let's think about you and your personal social media brand. And I want you to purely be selfish and to think about you and your goals that you have for yourself. We'll just say in the next one to five years. For which three topics would you like to be known? So for instance, if I were a communication studies major, and I'll go back to back in the day to my communication studies um, undergrad days, I wanted to be known as a um, as a public relations guru. I also wanted to be known as a new like marketing specialist. This was like before purely blown out social media. Um, and I also wanted to be known as a person who is knowledgeable about the communication field. So those were like three different topics that I wanted to, to be known for. So I would write topic one, topic two, topic three. So the, and you've accomplished what you needed to for action item two, for first action item two. The second part of action item two is what are two main points or questions that people commonly have about these topics? And I want you to write two for each of these topics that could be SEO friendly. So say uh, my first one, I want it to be known as a public relations um, specialist or a guru or, you know, someone who knew everything there was to know about public relations because I truly loved it back in the day. So um, two questions that people commonly ask about public relations is, um, do you have to pay for public relations? And another question is, um, oh goodness, what are the common public relations tools that people use nowadays? And so those would be my two main points or my two questions that people usually have for my first topic, which was public relations. So one thing I really want you to do is to think about the questions that people ask, and this is why I am wanting you to do this. Um, think about the questions that people usually ask about the topics for which you want to be known. And I want you to think about the questions that folks ask, and you will um, usually uh, you'll probably end up with six different questions or six different main points. And I want you to think um, basically about how many things that we search for on social media are questions. They're questions that need to be answered. So that goes from having an ailment on some part of your body to um, how to study for a test. And so based on the questions that you have, you're going to search for those questions on on social media. You're going to search for those questions or for answers to those questions on Google. So for this assignment, I want you to think outside of the box and to realize that most of the things you want to be known for also have common questions. And those common questions can become SEO based questions, or you can make blog posts over them, or you can make um, Twitter posts over them or what have you. But I want you to realize that social media is all about providing Question, providing answers for people's questions that they don't even know that they have yet. All right, guys. So if you have any questions about any of that, please let me know. Um, you can reach out to me on Canvas and I usually respond pretty quickly, except if I am I'm doing some public relations in the community and that's it. Hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you guys have taken the census um, and to let your voices be heard. That's important. And to also, um, you know, make sure that you're leaving your mark in your community. All right, guys, have a good day. I'll see you guys soon. Oh, by the way, here is the prompt at the very bottom. So all you have to do is copy all of this and paste it and then you'll um, be good to go.